Welcome, this is Andy and this is a quick uh, overview of the new version of Asset Sketcher. It's version uh, 0.3 and here I will show you a new mode I've added for uh, Asset Sketcher. It's called the Grid Mode. Um, at the moment you could just project objects uh, or assets on surfaces. This is called the Project Mode here, Projection Mode. And now you have a new uh, mode, this is called the Grid Mode. Just press on the drop-down menu and select the grid mode and enable sketching. So um, you see you have a grid here and can place objects into that grid. So this is good if you want to um, create levels or just want to lay out something that is based on a grid and have tiles for that. So um, you can quickly um, add your objects into that grid layout here. Um, you have the grid size which will be uh, yeah, can be set to a value so 3 or 4 so this is the grid size you have a sketch layer setting so you can put um, the object into objects into layers so um, for example layer 1 is uh, uh, that's the layer where the objects are now and you can increase it by pressing here the arrow keys or just uh, press the page up or page down buttons so page up next layer page up next layer page up next layer um, if you want to increase the workflow speed you can just c click control alt and select a, uh, an asset and it will jump automatically into that layer. So let's say this one here or this one. So works pretty fine. Um, you can set the uh, axes on which you want to paint. So at the moment it's set to bottom x, y axis. Um, you can set it to y, z or uh, to um, x, z which will be front view or just press the Q button which will toggle between those and yeah so let's delete everything and set the layer to zero and let's start painting something so for example uh, oops now Q mode now we want to jump to this asset here just control alt click and you will be here Q Control Alt click and you can paint here in this layer. So this works pretty fine. Um, you can merge objects as always. Just select them here and press on merge. But you see that the inner faces won't be deleted. Therefore, I have enhanced the merge select objects operator. Um, which can be done by clicking control click on that operator and you see that all inner faces are deleted then this can take quite some time if you have complex um, or a lot lots of objects because um, the faces are checked each faces and yeah this is an, another feature um okay let's delete this and start the sketch mode um, so let's say we have a few objects here this one, then we have other assets uh, this one here um, you can now um, lock objects by pressing the lock button here so now I cannot select the cone objects here uh, control click will uh, make them selectable again same goes for the cube objects now they can cannot be selected, control click they can be selected again. Um, the selection is uh, Im improved also, so we can select objects here, but we could not um, uh, expand the selection to other objects. Now we can do this by pressing Shift plus click, and this will increase the selection to the next objects. Um, Control click will uh, deselect objects, and this works pretty good, I think. So Shift click, Control click, Shift click. Yeah, I think that's it for this release. If you have 
purchase this add-on um, just go to the blender market and get your new copy um, if you consider uh, buying the add-on also head over to the blender market and you can get it there and have fun with the add-on so thanks for watching and see you next time